Good day, everyone. I'm Kazim Ait Mohammed, a DevOps and Site Reliability Engineer with over 12 years of experience. And I'm supporting enterprise cloud infrastructure and automation. Today in this session, we'll be diving deep into Terraform for enterprise scale infrastructure, especially how to implement production grade infrastructure as a code for multi-cloud deployment. Whether you're managing hundreds of resources or thousands, this session will give you the battle-tested strategies I've used in real enterprise environment. So what is Terraform? Terraform is a HashiCorp infrastructure as a core tool that allows you to define and provision infrastructure using declarative configuration file. What makes it enterprise ready is its ability to manage resources across multiple cloud providers through a single workflow. You write your infrastructure to HashiCorp configuration language, and Terraform handles the complexity of API calls, dependency management, and uh, state tracking. In enterprise environment, we are not just managing a few EC2 instances. We are dealing with complex multi-cloud architecture, compliance requirement, and uh, teams of engineers who needs to collaborate safely. Terraform provides the foundation for treating infrastructure like software with a version control testing and automated deployments. Let me paint you a picture of our infrastructure management without Terraform. Assume it's Friday evening and your production environment just went down. Your team is scrambling to understand what changed. Was it the database configuration set up data last week or was it the security group which John modified yesterday? You have no audit trail, no version history, and certainly no way to quickly reproduce your production environment for testing. This is the reality for many enterprise still managing infrastructure manually through the web consoles and the CLI scripts. Configuration drift is inevitable. Your dev, staging, and production environment slowly diverge until they are completely different beasts. Provisioning new infrastructure takes days or weeks because every step requires manual intervention and of course, the approval. And uh, when you're dealing with multiple cloud providers, forget about it. Each platform has its own APIs, terminology, and best practices. Your team need to be expert in AWS Cloud Foundation, Azure Resource Manager, and a Google Cloud Deployment Manager just to maintain the consistency. And um, the solution here is the well-architected Terraform setup that treats infrastructure like a software. We organize our infrastructure in logical layers, foundation, infrastructure, platform, and application. This separation allows different teams to work independently while maintaining dependencies and consistency. The foundation of enterprise Terraform is modular architecture. Instead of writing monolith configuration file, we create reusable modules for common infrastructure pattern. Our BPC module, for example, can be used across development, staging, and production with different parameters. The approach follows the DRY uh, principle. Don't repeat yourself. When we need to update our VPC configuration, we update it once in the module, and all the environment benefit from that change. It also enables standardization. Every VPC in your organization follows the same security and networking best practices. State management. So this is where many Terraform implementations fail in enterprise environment. The state file is Terraform's memory. It knows what resource resources exist and the config, current configuration. With local state files, you can't collaborate safely and you risk corrupting your infrastructure. Remote backends solve this by storing state in centralized location like uh, the S3 bucket with DynamoDB providing locking to prevent concurrent modifications. This enables team collaboration and provides backup and versioning of your state file. Always remember to encrypt your state file. They often contain sensitive information about your infrastructure. Enterprise Terraform requires the same discipline as software development. We use Git workflows with feature branches, pull requests, and code reviews. Every infrastructure change goes through the same process as application code. Version pending is crucial. You need to pin your Terraform version and provide a and provide a version to ensure consistent deployments. Nothing worse than a deployment failing because someone upgraded Terraform and broke, broke compatibility with your existing code. And a CI-CD integration is where Terraform becomes truly powerful for enterprise use. 
Every chain goes through automated validation, planning, and security scanning before it reaches production. We use tools like Chekhov or uh, TF Security to scan for security misconfiguration and require manual approval for production deployment. The key is making your pipeline fast and reliable. Nobody wants to wait 20 minutes for a simple security group change to deploy. And uh, security, when it comes, it can't be afterthought in enterprise uh, Terraform. We implement least privileges uh, IAM policies, ensuring Terraform can only create and modify the resources it needs. Never hard code secrets in your Terraform files. Uh, use either HashiCorp Vault, AWS Secret Manager, or similar tools. Compliance is often a requirement in enterprise environment. Terraform helps with compliance by providing audit trail, consistent configuration, and the ability, ability to quickly remediate issue across your entire infrastructure. Let me share a real-world example from my experience. We had a client running a complex microservice architecture that needed to be deployed across multiple environments the development, staging, and production with identical configuration. Before Terraform, provisioning a new environment took about, I believe, two weeks. The process involved multiple teams, dozens of manual steps, and inevitably resulted in slight differences between environments that caused deployment issues. Uh, with Terraform, we created modules for the EKS cluster, uh, VPC networking, RDS databases, and monitoring infrastructure. The entire architecture could be deployed in under four hours with identical configuration across all the environment versus the two weeks, which was when it was man manual. The key was breaking down the deployment into logical modules, foundation module, for example, which VPC subnets and inter -gateways, internet gateways are part of it and a security module, your security groups, IAM roles, and policies. Then third would be your compute module, your EKS cluster, node groups, auto-scaling, followed with data module, where your RDS instances, elastic cache, and backup policies. And last, with respect to monitoring module, your CloudWatch, Prometheus, and Grafana. This module approach allowed different teams to work independently while maintaining consistency. The database team could update the RDS module without affecting the Kubernetes deployment and vice versa. So what are the key points here, the key lessons? The key lessons I've learned from implementing Terraform at enterprise uh, level are first, it's always start small and grow incrementally. Don't try to migrate your entire infrastructure to Terraform over, uh, overnight. Pick a small non-critical service and prove the concept first. And then second, Invest in automated testing early. Use tools like TerraTest to write tests for your modules. It's much easier to catch issues in testing than in production. And thirdly, documentation is absolutely crucial. Your Terraform code should be self-documenting, but you also need clear readme files explaining how to use your modules and deploy your infrastructure. Finally, last but not the least, team training is essential. Terraform has a learning curve and your team needs to understand not just the syntax, but the concept of state management, dependencies, and infrastructure life cycle management. There are a few top recommendations for enterprise Terraform implementation. Use Teragrunt for managing multiple environments and reducing code duplication. It's like Terraform with superpowers of uh, enterprise use case. Implement comprehensive testing like TerraTest. Write go tests that actually deploy your in, uh, infrastructure and where it uh, works correctly. And then for security, scanning, I recommend uh, TF security integrated into your CI CD pipeline. These tools catch common security misconfiguration before they reach production. And also consider Terraform Cloud or Enterprise for larger teams. The workspace management, policy enforcement, and cost estimation features are in, uh, invaluable for enterprise uh, use. To wrap up, here are the five key takeaways uh, for implementing Terraform at enterprise scale. First, treat your infrastructure exactly like application code. Use version control, implement testing, and deploy through CI CD pipelines. Second, invest in modular architecture from day one. Reusable modules will save you countless hours and ensure consistency across the infrastructure. 
Third, never under underestimate the importance of proper state management. Remote backends with locking aren't optional for enterprise use. They, they are essential. Fourth, security must be built. Built in, not bolted on. Use proper secret management and implement least privileged access control. And finally, start small and scale up. Don't try to boil the ocean. Pick a small service, prove the value, and then expand your Terraform adoption incrementally. The companies I've worked with that allow this principle on 90% faster deployment times, uh, eliminated configuration drift, achieved 100% consistency across environment, and the initial investment in setting up Terraform properly pays dividends in operational efficiency and as well as in reliability. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope this deep dive into enterprise Terraform has given you practical insights you can apply in your own environment. If you have questions or want to discuss specific implementation challenges, feel free to contact me on LinkedIn or check out my other content on GitHub. Remember, successful Terraform implementation is not just about the technology. It's about the process, practice, and culture around infrastructure management. Start small. Be consistent and always prioritize security and collaboration. Happy to help and I'll see you in the next video.